that are 76 signed verdicts and 76 unsigned verdicts. This would be what I would expect. Right, I will read each one into the record. We, the jury, find the defendant, Daryl E. Brooks, guilty of first degree intentional homicide as charged in count one of the information. Dated this 26th day of October 2022, signed by the foreperson, juror number 11. If you find the defendant guilty of first degree intentional homicide, answer the following question, yes or no. Did the defendant commit first degree intentional homicide while using a dangerous weapon? Answer, yes. We, the jury, find the defendant, Daryl E. Brooks, guilty of first degree intentional homicide as charged in count two of the information. Did the defendant commit first degree intentional homicide while using a dangerous weapon? Answer, yes. Hey, you are to be removed right now. You will not do that. We, the jury, find the defendant, Daryl E. Brooks, guilty of first degree intentional homicide as charged in count three of the information. And I should say, as to count two, it was signed and dated by the four person, same as to count three. Did the defendant commit first degree intentional homicide while using a dangerous weapon? Answer, yes. We, the jury, find the defendant, Daryl E. Brooks, guilty of first degree intentional homicide as charged in count four of the information. Dated the 26th day of October, 2022, signed by the four person. Did the defendant commit first degree intentional homicide while using a dangerous weapon? Answer, yes. We, the jury, find the defendant, Daryl E. Brooks, guilty of first degree intentional homicide as charged in count five of the information dated today's date and signed by the four person. Did the defendant commit first degree intentional homicide while using a dangerous weapon? Answer, yes. We, the jury, find the defendant, Daryl E. Brooks, guilty of first degree intentional homicide as charged in count six of the information dated today's date signed by the four person. Did the defendant commit first degree intentional homicide while using a dangerous weapon? Answer, yes. We, the jury, find the defendant, Daryl E. Brooks, guilty of first degree recklessly endangering safety as charged in count seven of the information dated today's date and signed by four person. Did the defendant commit first degree recklessly endangering safety while using a dangerous weapon? Answer, yes. We, the jury, find the defendant, Daryl E. Brooks, guilty of first degree recklessly endangering safety as charged in count eight of the information. Dated today's date and signed by the four person. Did the defendant commit first degree recklessly endangering safety while using a dangerous weapon? Answer, yes. We, the jury, find the defendant, Daryl E. Brooks, guilty of first degree recklessly endangering safety as charged in count nine of the information. Dated today's date, signed by the four person. Did the defendant commit first degree recklessly endangering safety while using a dangerous weapon? Answer, yes. We, the jury, find the defendant, Daryl E. Brooks, guilty of first degree recklessly endangering safety as charged in count 10 of the information. Dated today's date and signed by the four person. Did the defendant commit first degree recklessly endangering safety while using a dangerous weapon? Answer, yes. We, the jury, find the defendant, Daryl E. Brooks, guilty of first degree recklessly endangering safety as charged in count 11 of the information. Dated today's date, signed by the four person. Did the defendant commit first degree recklessly endangering safety while using a dangerous weapon? Yes. We, the jury, find the defendant, Daryl E. Brooks, guilty of first degree recklessly endangering safety as charged in count 12 of the information. Dated today's date, signed by the four person. Did the defendant commit first degree recklessly endangering safety while using a dangerous weapon? Answer, yes. We, the jury, find the defendant, Daryl E. Brooks, guilty of first degree recklessly endangering safety as charged in count 13 of the information, dated today's date, signed by the four person. 
Did the defendant commit first degree reckless and endangered safety while using a dangerous weapon? The answer, yes. We, the jury, find the defendant, Daryl E. Brooks, guilty of first degree recklessly endangering safety as charged in count 14 of the information dated today's date, signed by the foreperson. Did the defendant commit first degree recklessly endangering safety while using a dangerous weapon? Answer, yes. We, the jury, find the defendant, Daryl E. Brooks, guilty of first degree recklessly endangering safety as charged in count 15 of the information dated today's date, signed by the foreperson. Did the defendant commit first degree recklessly endangering safety while using a dangerous weapon? The answer, yes. We, the jury, find the defendant, Daryl E. Brooks, guilty of first degree recklessly endangering safety as charged in count 16 of the information dated today's date, signed by the foreperson. Did the defendant commit first degree recklessly endangering safety while using a dangerous weapon? The answer, yes. We, the jury, find the defendant guilty of first degree recklessly endangering safety as charged in count 17 of the information dated today's date, signed by the four person. Did the defendant commit first degree recklessly endangering safety while using a dangerous weapon? Answer, yes. We, the jury, find the defendant, Daryl E. Brooks, guilty of first degree recklessly endangering safety as charged in count 18 of the information dated today's date, signed by the foreperson. Did the defendant commit first degree recklessly endangering safety while using a dangerous weapon? Answer, yes. We, the jury, find the defendant, Daryl E. Brooks, guilty of first degree recklessly endangering safety as charged in count 19 of the information dated today's date, signed by the foreperson. Did the defendant commit first degree recklessly endangering safety while using a dangerous weapon? Answer, yes. We, the jury, find the defendant, Daryl E. Brooks, guilty of first degree recklessly endangering safety as charged in count 20 of the information dated today's date, signed by the foreperson. Did the defendant commit first degree recklessly endangering safety while using a dangerous weapon? Answer, yes. We, the jury, find the defendant, Daryl E. Brooks, guilty of first degree recklessly endangering safety as charged in count 21 of the information dated today's date, signed by the foreperson. Did the defendant commit first degree recklessly endangering safety while using a dangerous weapon? Answer, yes. We, the jury, find the defendant, Daryl E. Brooks, guilty a first degree recklessly endangering safety is charged in count 22 of the information dated today's date, signed by the foreperson. Did the defendant commit first degree recklessly endangering safety while using a dangerous weapon? Answer, yes. We, the jury, find the defendant, Daryl E. Brooks, guilty of first degree recklessly endangering safety as charged in count 23 of the information dated today's date, signed by the foreperson. Did the defendant commit First degree recklessly endangering safety while using a dangerous weapon? Answer, yes. We, the jury, find the defendant, Daryl E. Brooks, guilty of first degree recklessly endangering safety as charged in count 24 of the information dated today's date, signed by the four person. Did the defendant commit first degree recklessly endangering safety while using a dangerous weapon? Answer, yes. We, the jury, find the defendant, Daryl E. Brooks, guilty of first degree recklessly endangering safety as charged in count 25 of the information dated today's date and signed by the four person. Did the defendant commit first degree recklessly endangering safety while using a dangerous weapon? Answer, yes. We, the jury, find the defendant, Daryl E. Brooks, guilty of first degree recklessly endangering safety as charged in count 26 of the information. Dated today's date, signed by the four person. Did the defendant commit first degree recklessly endangering safety while using a dangerous weapon? Answer, yes. We, the jury, find the defendant, Daryl E. Brooks, guilty of first degree recklessly endangering safety as charged in count 27 of the information. Dated today's date, signed by the four person. 
Did the defendant commit first degree recklessly endangering safety when using a dangerous weapon? Answer, yes. We, the jury, find the defendant, Daryl E. Brooks, guilty of first degree recklessly endangering safety as charged in count 28 of the information dated today's date, signed by the foreperson. Did the defendant commit first degree recklessly endangering safety while using a dangerous weapon? Answer, yes. We, the jury, find the defendant, Daryl E. Brooks, guilty of first degree recklessly endangering safety as charged in count 29 of the information dated today's date, signed by four person. Did the defendant commit first degree recklessly endangering safety while using a dangerous weapon? Answer, yes. We, the jury, find the defendant, Daryl E. Brooks, guilty of first degree recklessly endangering safety as charged in count 30 of the information. Dated today's date, signed by the four person. Did the defendant commit first degree recklessly endangering safety while using a dangerous weapon? Answer, yes. <coughs> we, the jury, find the defendant, Daryl E. Brooks, guilty of first degree recklessly endangering safety as charged in count 31 of the information. Dated today's date, signed by the four person. Did the defendant commit first degree recklessly endangering safety while using a dangerous weapon? Answer, yes. We, the jury, find the defendant, Daryl E. Brooks, guilty of first degree recklessly endangering safety as charged in count 32 of the information. Dated today's date, signed by the four person. Did the defendant commit first degree recklessly endangering safety while using a dangerous weapon? Answer, yes. We, the jury, find the defendant, Daryl E. Brooks, guilty of first degree recklessly endangering safety as charged in count 33 of the information. Dated today's day, signed by the four person. Did the defendant commit first degree recklessly endangering safety while using a dangerous weapon? Answer, yes. We, the jury, find the defendant, Daryl E. Brooks, guilty of first degree recklessly endangering safety as charged in count 34 of the information. Dated today's day, signed by the four person. Did the defendant commit first degree recklessly endangering safety while using a dangerous weapon? Answer, yes. We, the jury, find the defendant, Daryl E. Brooks, guilty of first degree recklessly endangering safety as charged in count 35 of the information. Dated today's date, signed by the four person. Did the defendant commit first degree recklessly endangering safety while using a dangerous weapon? Answer, yes. We, the jury, find the defendant, Daryl E. Brooks, guilty of first degree recklessly endangering safety as charged in count 36 of the information. Dated today's date, signed by the four person. Did the defendant commit first degree recklessly endangering safety while using a dangerous weapon? Answer, yes. We, the jury, find the defendant, Daryl E. Brooks, guilty of first degree recklessly endangering safety as charged in count 37 of the information. Dated today's date, signed by the four person. Did the defendant commit first degree recklessly endangering safety while using a dangerous weapon? Answer, yes. We, the jury, find the defendant, Daryl E. Brooks, guilty of first degree recklessly endangering safety as charged in count 38 of the information. Dated today's date, signed by the four person. Did the defendant commit first degree recklessly endangering safety while using a dangerous weapon? Answer, yes. We, the jury, find the defendant, Daryl E. Brooks, guilty of first degree recklessly endangering safety as charged in count 39 of the information. Dated today's date, signed by the four person. Did the defendant commit first degree recklessly endangering safety while using a dangerous weapon? Answer, yes. We, the jury, find the defendant, Daryl E. Brooks, guilty of first degree recklessly endangering safety as charged in count 40 of the information. Dated today's date, signed by the four person. Did the defendant commit first degree recklessly endangering safety while using a dangerous weapon? Answer, yes. We, the jury, find the defendant, Daryl E. Brooks, guilty 
of first degree recklessly endangering safety as charged in count 41 of the information dated today's date signed by the four person. Did the defendant commit first degree recklessly endangering safety while using a dangerous weapon? Answer, yes. <laughs> We, the jury, find the defendant, Daryl E. Brooks, guilty of first degree recklessly endangering safety as charged in count 42 of the information dated today's date and signed by the four person. Did the defendant commit first degree recklessly endangering safety while using a dangerous weapon? Answer, yes. We, the jury, find the defendant, Daryl E. Brooks, guilty of first degree recklessly endangering safety as charged in count 43 of the information dated today's date signed by the four person did the defendant commit first degree recklessly endangering safety while using a dangerous weapon answer yes we the jury find the defendant daryl e brooks guilty of first degree recklessly endangering safety as charged in count 44 of the information Dated today's date, signed by the four person. Did the defendant commit first degree recklessly endangering safety while using a dangerous weapon? Answer, yes. We, the jury, find the defendant, Daryl E. Brooks, guilty of first degree recklessly endangering safety as charged in count 45 of the information. Dated today's date, and signed by the four person. Did the defendant commit first degree recklessly endangering safety while using a dangerous weapon? Answer, yes. We, the jury, find the defendant, Daryl E. Brooks, guilty of first degree recklessly endangering safety as charged in count 46 of the information, dated today's date and signed by the four person. Did the defendant commit first degree recklessly endangering safety while using a dangerous weapon? Answer, yes. We, the jury, find the defendant, Daryl E. Brooks, guilty of first degree recklessly endangering safety as charged in count 47 of the information, dated today's date and signed by the four person. Did the defendant commit first degree recklessly endangering safety while using a dangerous weapon? Answer, yes. We, the jury, find the defendant, Daryl E. Brooks, guilty of first degree recklessly endangering safety as charged in count 48 of the information, dated today's date, signed by the four person. Did the defendant commit first degree recklessly endangering safety while using a dangerous weapon? Answer, yes. We, the jury, find the defendant, Daryl E. Brooks, guilty of first degree recklessly endangering safety as charged in count 49 of the information, dated today's date and signed by the four person. Did the defendant commit first degree recklessly endangering safety while using a dangerous weapon? Answer, yes. We, the jury, find the defendant, Daryl E. Brooks, guilty of first degree recklessly endangering safety as charged in count 50 of the information, dated today's date and signed by the four person. Did the defendant commit first degree recklessly endangering safety while using a dangerous weapon? Answer, yes. We, the jury, find the defendant, Daryl E. Brooks, guilty of first degree recklessly endangering safety as charged in count 51 of the information, dated today's date and signed by the four person. Did the defendant commit first degree recklessly endangering safety while using a dangerous weapon? Answer, yes. We, the jury, find the defendant, Daryl E. Brooks, guilty of first degree recklessly endangering safety as charged in count 52 of the information, dated today's date and signed by the four person. Did the defendant commit first degree recklessly endangering safety while using a dangerous weapon? Answer, yes. We, the jury, find the defendant, Daryl E. Brooks, guilty of first degree recklessly endangering safety as charged in count 53 of the information, dated today's date and signed by the four person. Did the defendant commit first degree recklessly endangering safety while using a dangerous weapon? Answer, yes. 
We, the, the jury, find the defendant, Daryl E. Brooks, guilty of first-degree recklessly endangering safety as charged in count 54 of the information dated today's date and signed by the foreperson. Did the defendant commit first-degree recklessly endangering safety while using a dangerous weapon? Answer, yes. We, the jury, find the defendant, Daryl E. Brooks, guilty of first degree recklessly endangering safety as charged in count 55 of the information, dated today's date and signed by the four person. Did the defendant commit first degree recklessly endangering safety while using a dangerous weapon? Answer, yes. We, the jury, find the defendant, Daryl E. Brooks, guilty of first degree recklessly endangering safety as charged in count 56 of the information, dated today's date and signed by the four person. Did the defendant commit first degree recklessly endangering safety while using a dangerous weapon? Answer, yes. We, the jury, find the defendant, Daryl E. Brooks, guilty of first degree recklessly endangering safety as charged in count 57 of the information, dated today's date and signed by the four person. Did the defendant commit first degree recklessly endangering safety while using a dangerous weapon? Answer, yes. We, the jury, find the defendant, Daryl E. Brooks, guilty of first degree recklessly endangering safety as charged in count 58 of the information, dated today's date and signed by the four person. Did the defendant commit first degree recklessly endangering safety while using a dangerous weapon? Answer, yes. We, the jury, find the defendant, Daryl E. Brooks, guilty of first degree recklessly endangering safety as charged in count 59 of the information, dated today's date and signed by the four person. Did the defendant commit first degree recklessly endangering safety while using a dangerous weapon? Answer, yes. We, the jury, find the defendant, Daryl E. Brooks, guilty of first degree recklessly endangering safety as charged in count 60 of the information, dated today's date and signed by the four person. Did the defendant commit first degree recklessly endangering safety while using a dangerous weapon? Answer, yes. We, the jury, find the defendant, Daryl E. Brooks, guilty of first degree recklessly endangering safety as charged in count 61 of the information, dated today's date and signed by the four person. Did the defendant commit first degree recklessly endangering safety while using a dangerous weapon? Answer, yes. We, the jury, find the defendant, Daryl E. Brooks, guilty of first degree recklessly endangering safety as charged in count 62 of the information dated today's date and signed by the four person. Did the defendant commit first degree recklessly endangering safety while using a dangerous weapon? Answer, yes. We, the jury, find the defendant, Daryl E. Brooks, guilty of first degree recklessly endangering safety as charged in count 63 of the information dated today's date and signed by the four person. Did the defendant commit first degree recklessly endangering safety while using a dangerous weapon? Answer, yes. We, the jury, find the defendant, Daryl E. Brooks, guilty of first degree recklessly endangering safety as charged in count 64 of the information. Dated today's date and signed by the four person. Did the defendant commit first degree recklessly endangering safety while using a dangerous weapon? Answer, yes. We, the jury, find the defendant, Daryl E. Brooks, guilty of first degree recklessly endangering safety as charged in count 65 of the information, dated today's date and signed by the four person. Did the defendant commit first degree recklessly endangering safety while using a dangerous weapon? Answer, yes. We, the jury, find the defendant, Daryl E. Brooks, 
guilty of first degree recklessly endangering safety as charged on count 66 of the information dated today's date and signed by the floor person. Did the defendant commit first degree recklessly endangering safety while using a dangerous weapon? Answer, yes. We, the jury, find the defendant, Daryl E. Brooks, guilty of first degree recklessly endangering safety as charged in count 67 of the information dated today's date and signed by the floor person. Did the defendant commit first degree recklessly endangering safety while using a dangerous weapon? Answer, yes. We, the jury, find the defendant, Daryl E. Brooks, guilty of hit and run as charged in count 68 of the information. Did the accident involve death to Virginia Sorensen? Answer, Yes. Dated today's date and signed by the floor person. We, the jury, find the defendant, Daryl E. Brooks, guilty of hit and run as charged in count 69 of the information. Dated today's date and signed by the floor person. Did the accident involve death to Leanna Owen? Answer, yes. We, the jury, find the defendant, Daryl E. Brooks, Guilty of hit and run as charged in count 70 of the information dated today's date and signed by the floor person. Did the accident involve death to Tamara Duran? Answer, yes. We, the jury, find the defendant, Daryl E. Brooks, guilty of hit and run as charged in count 71 of the information dated today's date and signed by the floor person. Did the accident involve death to Jane Kulik? Answer, yes. We, the jury, find the defendant, Daryl E. Brooks, guilty of hit and run as charged in count 72 of the information, dated today's date and signed by the floor person. Did the accident involve death to Wilhelm Hassel? Answer, yes. We, the jury, find the defendant, Daryl E. Brooks, guilty of hit and run as charged in count 73 of the information, dated today's date and signed by the four person. Did the accident involve death to the Jackson Sparks? Answer, yes. We, the jury, find the defendant, Daryl E. Brooks, guilty of bail jumping as charged in count 74 of the information. Dated today's date and signed by the floor person. We, the jury, find the defendant, Daryl E. Brooks, guilty of bail jumping as charged in count 75 of the information. Dated today's date and signed by the floor person. We, the jury, find the defendant, Daryl E. Brooks, guilty of battery as charged in count 76 of the information. Dated today's date and signed by the four persons. Mr. Brooks, would you like me to poll the jury? Yes. Members of the jury, I'm going to ask each one of you individually to stand up, identify your number for the record, and then state whether the verdict is read in open court or your true verdict. I'll start with the four percent. And I'll read your numbers first, so it's a little bit easier. So I'll turn number 11. <coughs> whether the verdict read in open court or are the verdicts... Let me rephrase that. The verdict read in open court, are those your true verdicts? Yes. Thank you. Turn number three. The verdicts read in open court, are those your true verdicts? Yes. Thank you. Juror number six. The verdicts read in open court, are those your true verdicts? Yes. Thank you. Juror number 14. The verdicts read in open court, are those your true verdicts? Yes. Thank you. Juror number 19. The verdicts read in open court, are those your true verdicts? Yes. 
Thank you. Juror number 27. The, the verdicts read in open court. Are those your true verdicts? Yes. Thank you. Juror number 34. The verdicts read in open court. Are those your true verdicts? Yes. Thank you. Juror number 41. The verdicts read in open court. Are those your true verdicts? Yes. Thank you. Juror number 45. The verdicts read in open court. Are those your true verdicts? Yes. Thank you. Juror number 46. The verdicts read in open court. Are those your true verdicts? Yes. Thank you. Juror number 48. The verdicts read in open court. Are those your true verdicts? They are. Thank you. Juror number 51. The verdicts read in open court. Are those your true verdicts? Yes. Thank you. I should say for the record, I did have the alternates brought back in. Obviously, they did not deliberate, but it was important to have them because there are certain instructions I give at the end. All right, Mr. Brooks, are you satisfied with the polling of the jurors? I'm sorry? No. So the court is so satisfied with the polling of the jurors. The court now accepts the verdicts. Ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of myself, the citizens of Waukesha County, and both parties here, I want to thank you for the time and attention that you spent on this case. Your service in this case is now concluded. There is no requirement that you maintain secrecy concerning what happened in the jury room, but you do not have to discuss the case with anyone or answer any questions about it. On behalf, again, of the court and all of the parties, we thank you for your service over the last three and a half weeks. You are discharged and free to go. All rise for the jury, please. <coughs> Sad. Oh. Thank you, BC. Good. Any people from the state at this time? The state moves for judgment on the verdict as to each and every count. Anything from you, Mr. Brooks? Oh, what is judgment? Give me the verdicts from the jury here today. Uh, the court will enter judgments of conviction based upon the verdicts on all 76 counts. The court will also revoke bond. In this case, I plan on bringing the case in Monday, this coming Monday, the 31st at 1 p.m., to address further scheduling. What I would ask the parties to do between now and then is to um, determine how long you think each side will need to present their sentencing remarks. Uh, whether you anticipate anyone speaking on your behalf, if so, how many, how long, so that I can then look at my calendar and adjust and make sure that I have the appropriate amount of time to do that. I'm not going to sentencing on Monday. It is just for further scheduling at 1 p.m. before my afternoon meeting. Judge, would you be willing to consider uh, persons appearing by Zoom for sentencing? Yes, I would not do anything different than what I've been doing uh, since we started utilizing Zoom as to make it available for both uh, victims and family members of the uh, defendant if they so choose to make statements over Zoom. Okay, thank you. That really helps us in our planning. All right. All right, then. Thank you, everyone. We are adjourned for today. We'll see you on Monday.